The sport that I miss the most when I'm out due to an injury is cycling. So how soon after knee surgery can you return to the bike? Well, how about the next day? Check this out. I'm Joe Kleinens of JK Endurance Coaching, and this is my journey from knee surgery to Ironman in 115 days. So I hopped on the bike, got things set up, got a couple pedal revolutions enough to know there's gonna be no pain. Um, as far as range of motion, I didn't have any intensity on there, no, no pain with the range of motion. The problem I'm having is this dressing, um, it's been kind of working its way down on my knee and, and it's to the point where like every pedal stroke felt like it was just gonna pull it down or pull it off. So I'm gonna try to rewrap it, try to get it where it won't come off while I'm trying to ride. I was instructed to keep it on until Sunday, so I'm trying to do my best to do that. So we'll see what I can do to make it stay on a little better, and then I'll get back on the bike and see how it goes. The adjustment to the bandage definitely helped it. At least it's not, you know, have that feeling it's falling down. Range of motion seems to be no problem. I can feel my left leg kind of helping the right one over the top of the pedal stroke maybe a little bit. The longer I've been on, uh, been like three minutes, there's no, you know, additional fatigue or pain coming. And um, I'd say the only thing that's a little uncomfortable is I feel like the, the side where the uh, incisions are, Maybe the, um, the bandage is kind of rubbing. There's some friction going on there. So I'm not going to overdo it. All right, so I've been going for about 25 minutes. I had a target of maybe like 30 minutes as a goal for a first ride one day post-surgery. But uh, I started to get a little discomfort. Averaging 100 watts, uh, just ticking 26 minutes. There's no reason to be a hero on the first day. Uh, I got 114 days to get myself ready for Coeur d'Alene, and I need to balance, you know, pushing myself, but also being smart, listening to the body. Um, there'll be plenty of other days to suffer on the bike, so I'm just gonna call that a day right there. The progression into day two was to double the time. So I went one hour easy with, again, no real problems. I think I even, uh, if I remember right, got kind of lost track of time and I went even a little over time. I was on my phone, you know, doing things. So just kind of pedaled right through that hour. Uh, the only restrictions, again, were coming from that bandage. It was still wrapped in the ACE bandage, uh, kind of putting some pressure and, and annoying those uh, incisions a little bit behind. It was getting really hot, like the area behind my knee and stuff. So. Um, I was really looking forward to my third day of riding when I was going to be able to take off the bandage. So it's day three post-surgery and uh, things are really moving along great. About to hop on the bike for a 90 minute easy session. I actually took the bandage off yesterday or last night before bed. So that was probably what hampered me the most on the bike on day two. So the bandage is off and I'm hoping this ride is going to feel great. The incisions look good. Swelling looks pretty good today. Um, so before I get on the bike and get to it, I got to go through my um, rehab exercises that I have to minimum start get sick of leg lifts and some of the those exercises are starting to feel monotonous, but I know it's the right path to getting back to full recovery. And like I said, it really helped if you, uh, in the last episode, we talked about put, you know, putting those rehab sessions into training peaks to keep you accountable. So that's really motivating me and keeping me accountable with the exercises. Um, so it's time to get to it, get the exercises done and, and then hop on the bike.
just finished up uh, the 90 minute ride. Um, felt really great, like, you know, getting started, a little bit of discomfort. Uh, kind of eased into it, got up sitting around 200 watts for most of the ride. When I would sit and hold about, you know, up, upwards of like 250 watts is where I kind of capped it, I would feel a little discomfort. So, um, you know, I just scaled it back down from there and kind of just, you know, casually sat around 200 watts. Felt good to get a little bit of a sweat going. Got a lot of emailing and, you know, those easy rides are nice for getting coaching work and uh, um, just taking care of some of the things, catching up on social media and emails. And of course, got to get an uh, episode of that triathlon life in too. It's Sunday, so I always look forward to, to watching that. And probably a little bit of the motivation, uh, all the great work that Eric and Paul do and stuff, kind of got me motivated to try my hand at sharing some things, um, you know, hopefully to be able to help some of you, especially anyone that's going through an injury like I'm uh, kind of coming back from here. My fourth day back on the bike, we just stuck with another easy 90 minute day, kind of similar watts to day three. and. You know, with uh, all these rides, I was having no pain like after the bike or nothing like the next morning waking up. Um, so it was definitely a good sign that the, you know, the, the knee was ready to maybe take on a little more. So on the, um, on the fifth day, we did a four by 10 progression. So it started off with kind of an Ironman effort as far as power and then worked towards like half Ironman. All right guys, so it's uh, day four since uh, the meniscectomy on my knee. And as far as the knee pain, I mean, or even uh, range of motion things that just keep getting better. A couple long days of being on my feet at work. By the end of the day, you know, I had a little bit of achiness and soreness. Just a little bit of ice will take that achiness out. They've been doing a great job in Pennsylvania getting the COVID vaccine out to teachers. And I had the opportunity yesterday to get my, I did the Johnson Johnson like single shot. Um, you know, pretty painless getting the shot itself. A little bit of soreness in my shoulder when I woke up felt fine. But around lunch today, I did start to kind of feel that maybe like a feverish feeling, um, just not feeling great. Uh, once I ate lunch, I actually found some uh, an leave in my desk, took that with my lunch and felt pretty good. It's like, the, I don't know if the leaves wearing off or um, just feeling a little bit tired now. So I'm going into this four by 10 minute build session on the bike, not with, um, you know, it's just pretty basic and easy as far as the, the power goals, but it'll be a good test for the knee and kind of figure out where I can go as far as later in the week or the weekend. And um, today is Tuesday, so Thursday is a follow-up appointment with Dr. Ulmer to see uh, as far as bringing running and swimming back to. So we'll check in on those things later in the week. Uh, for now, we're gonna go down and do the four by 10. set three of the four by tens holding 270 watts good news no pain at all in the knee i definitely feel fatigue it's been a week since a hard workout and that covid shot maybe you know causing some of that but super happy with how the knee feels finish this up then uh go through the rehab some stretching ice and call it a day four by 10 build set that I did gave me a lot of confidence to start adding more intensity back into my cycling and also um, bringing in some more endurance and longer rides as I'm not finding any kind of repercussions of going hard or going a little bit longer. Um, so, you know, that's all looking great. Um, tomorrow I do have my post-op appointment to find out where I stand with swimming. Again, only thing there would be, you know, once he looks at the incisions, I have, would have no problem um, you know, obviously kicking and, and actually swimming in the pool. Flip turns might be something to, to hold off. I might, you know, have to see how that feels. I do notice like when I twist, if I kind of twist to pick something up, that's the only time I might feel a little bit of pain still where that meniscus was repaired or, or uh, trimmed up. So, um, you know, so we'll see, you know, what that brings. But the biggest question is going to be the running. So super uh, kind of excited, nervous to see um, what the doc has to say tomorrow when we meet. Thanks for following along on my journey to get back to Ironman racing. Don't miss that next episode where I'm going to go through the phase two progression of the knee rehab exercises.